Welcome to the Tool Review Channel. Today we are taking a look at the Klein Tools 3005CR Ratcheting Crimper. Now this crimper is meant for 10 to 22 gauge AWG wire and it is for insulated terminals. So as you can see right here, you have a nice Klein logo right there on the tool uh, as well. I believe it's some paint that they stamped onto the tool. You got your model number right there and I believe the F12 is the manufacturer manufacturing dates for when the tool was produced. You have a stamping for release right there. So if you're crimping and you mess the crimp up, you are able to release the tool as long as you don't go too far. And then you can see you have your crimping dies right here as well. So the red dot is for 22 to 16 gauge wire. The blue line is for the 16 to 14 gauge wire. And then the yellow line is for 12 to 10 gauge uh, wire right there. And then these two screws up there, I believe hold the crimping dies in. And then you also have a little screw down here where you can adjust the tension on the spring uh, if you needed to. Uh, and then coming to the handles, you got Klein tools on the handles, uh, which is nice. This kind of like the journeyman style handles. Um, coming to this side of the tool, uh, it's fairly basic on this side of the tool. You just got your Klein tools logo on the handles as well. Now this tool is not made in the USA. This is made in China for Klein tools. Um, but it still is a nice crimper overall. And the way you release the tool is you just put a little bit of pressure on there. And as you can see, the tool opens right up, which is nice. Uh, and then you are able to ratchet down. And as long as you are able to um, access this release, let's say you started to mess the crimp up. As you can see, you just pop the tool right open and then you can go back at the crimp uh, again. So as you can see, it does like to spring open. So I'll leave that open and we'll bring in some 14 gauge wire and a terminal and we will attempt to crimp this terminal on uh, to the wire. Now the whole point of a ratchet crimper is to crimp the wire onto the, or crimp the terminal onto the wire uh, so it basically doesn't come off. Uh, and as you can see, you insert and then you put a little pressure down and then you just crimp the terminal until it releases the tool back open. And as you can see, mine's kind of stuck at the top, um, but that is the crimp that it does leave on there, which is nice. And I don't believe that that crimp or this terminal is coming off of this wire anytime soon. You'd have to really pull hard on it for that to come off. Um, so we're gonna go and strip that one more time. So I already have the wire already stripped, put the terminal on uh, the wire right there. Uh, and then we'll give it a, another go with the crimper. Uh, if the wire would like to go into the terminal right there. So we'll just put it in the hole right there as well. And then we will line, make sure our terminal, so we'll use that little release mechanism to release it so that we're making a nice crimp and it's not crooked on the wire, uh, as you saw right there. So we'll put the wire back in there uh, and then we'll try to get it nice and straight in the die as well. And then we'll crimp down until it releases. As you can see, it releases right there. It did bend the terminal a little bit right there. I just easily bend that back, but as you can see, it left a nice crimp on that terminal. And again, that wire definitely is not coming off of that terminal anytime soon. Um, so we'll take that out of the picture and we will bring in some 12 gauge stranded wire and see how well of a crimp we can get on to the terminal or onto the wire as well. So we'll bring this back in and then we'll put the terminal in the die and then we'll crimp down on it until it pops back up so it's going to take a little bit more force to do it pops right back up right there as well it's a little bit stuck in the die but as you can see right there it crimped the terminal on there fairly nicely and don't believe that's coming off anytime soon and we will do that one more time with the 12 gauge stranded wire so we'll put the terminal back onto the wire and we will put the terminal into the die of the tool and make sure we have a little bit of wire showing through. And then uh, I have a little too much wire showing through right there. We'll begin to crimp down on the tool. Two-handed process, as you can see right there. Uh, and as you can see, it puts a nice crimp on the wire right there as well. And again, that's definitely not coming off anytime soon, uh, unless you use extreme force to pull it off. Um, so that was the 12 gauge stranded wire. Now we'll bring in some 10 gauge stranded wire and see how well it does with this gauge of wire. So as you can see, got the terminal on, the wire right there. We'll put it back into the die right there, and then we'll give it a good, some pressure on the tool and give it a nice crimp 
Uh, and as you can see, I did bend the terminal just a little bit. You can easily bend that back with your finger or a pair of pliers. Um, but as you can see, that terminal is definitely not coming off of that wire anytime soon. So now we'll do it one more time. We'll bring in the terminal, uh, put it on the wire. Probably could have stripped the wire a little bit more, uh, but I was using an automatic wire stripper that's set to a specific um, length. So it just, it just happened to be the length that it stripped it to. But as you can see right there, it crimps on, it creates a very nice crimp on the wire. You just gotta, you know, bend the little forks uh, back there. Uh, but it does create a nice crimp on the wire. And that wire is definitely not going anywhere anytime soon, which is nice. So I'll bring, take that out of the picture and we will bring in some smaller gauge wire. So this is 18 gauge solid wire. This is thermostat wire. And we'll see if we can crimp a little terminal onto there. Uh, it's probably gonna be a little bit challenging, uh, but I believe we'll be able to do it uh, with these crimpers. Uh, and as you can see right there, it is a little stuck in the crimper, but as you can see right there, definitely was able to um, get the terminal crimped onto the wire right there and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Now we'll bring some, we'll bring another little piece in right here, put the terminal on the wire and we'll do another crimp uh, just to show that it does work uh, fairly well. So you put it in the red slot on the pliers and you got to keep the wire in there and not have it fall out. And then you crimp down on it. And as you can see, smush the terminal onto the wire and that's definitely not coming off. So overall, these are definitely, uh, a, a, definitely a nice addition to have in your tool bag, especially if you don't like the uh, standard pair of crimpers out there that just smash the terminal on there and you want a nice crimp that's going to last and you know not have to worry about someone maybe down the road pulling the wire off of the terminal these are definitely a nice pair of crimpers to have uh, with you and the price that uh, is associated with them is actually fairly decent uh, they only cost like 25 dollars uh, which is a pretty good deal i mean yes they're not made in america they are made in china uh, but they get the job done which is nice i mean i've seen similar crimpers out there um range in the hundreds of dollars uh for some of the german brand ones um when you can get these kind ones for 25 dollars and they do just as good of a job uh, as the german brand ones maybe in the future we'll take a look at maybe a german pair uh, and compare them to the kind uh, but I, I believe that they're just going to do the exact same job uh, so overall highly recommend picking these up if you're looking to crimp uh, terminals on wires and not have to worry about them coming off i will leave a link to them in the description below if you'd like to check them out it'll be a link to client's website and then you can click that to figure out where you can pick this tool up uh, also the majority of home depots should also carry them in stock in the electrical section where most of the client tools that they carry are uh, so you might want to be able to check your home depot and your electrical section if you're looking to pick a set of the pick a set of these up uh, but that's all i have for this review so thank you for watching and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and if you did enjoy this review please give it a thumbs up as well but that's all i have so stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded